So when it comes to building muscle, why should people build muscle? Muscle building is something that I feel like people don't necessarily always realize the benefits for your actual human. Like (laughs) we talk about the aesthetic benefits of building muscle and being able to, you know, shape your body in a way that you want to. Um, But we don't really talk about the actual physical benefits of building muscle and how it's going to benefit your frame, your health, your longevity, um, and many different factors, you know, within that. So as far as a couple of different benefits that we can discuss, the first couple that I want to talk about are a couple of health benefits that we can discuss as far as increased bone density that you will experience from resistance training. Um, You can also improve your overall blood glucose control and your insulin sensitivity. Um, you can also experience mental health benefits, such as improved mood from the endorphins that you can uh, get during your training sessions. Um, your ability to actually process uh, cognitively can improve, especially within older adults. Um, I think that we really focus on the immediate benefits of resistance training, but we also want to think about how something can benefit us for the long run and as we age. So being able to have those cognitive benefits, you know, working on your side as you're a young person and then as you go through that aging process is only going to benefit you mentally and physically. And we can also talk about, you know, the physical benefits of having more lean mass on your frame. And we did discuss, you know, should you be somebody who does want to uh, pursue fat loss and things of that nature? And of course, those are valiant goals to be able to work towards. However, having more lean mass on your frame can actually work with you towards your fat loss goals, because with having more lean mass on your frame, your overall basal metabolic rate or the number of calories that your body expends on a regular basis will be higher. So it will be easier to create a caloric deficit, drive that energy expense, expenditure up and pursue those fat loss goals. So like we said, you know, it can have those aesthetic benefits, but the physical benefits are just never ending. And that's only a very, very small list of the benefits, but I don't want to go on too long about that. But hopefully that gives you a brief idea. I absolutely love that because there are so many functional benefits of weight training. And I think that in the space that we are, and again, I mentioned the diet culture that our country and world are a part of, it can be very hard to look at it of, oh, there's a lot of other benefits outside of just the way that you look. There are those physical benefits, those mental benefits, and it is something that, I mean, as a female, it is extremely empowering to become stronger, not only because you can do stuff yourself and you can just be able to do things that you previously weren't able to, which is a really cool feeling, whether it's opening a jar or picking something up or anything, it it is very empowering. But it's also something when it comes to self-defense, I know I have just felt more safe because I feel like I could truthfully like defend myself if needed because I don't just feel fragile. I just don't. And it's a really great feeling to have. And that feeling of safety doesn't just come from that outward safety as if someone were to come at me, which don't do it because I just said I would come back. She will fight you. (laughs) But I feel like I have a lot more internal safety of just knowing my capabilities as a whole. Yes. And I think that's so huge. And, you know, knowing your own capabilities and knowing what you are knowing, you know, that there is more that is available to you. Because like I said, you know, when, when I was pursuing, you know, being smaller endlessly, it was something where I felt like I was limited. Um, and when, as I started to pursue strength and building muscle, it was something where learning to take up space in and out of the gym has been, you know, one of the most transformative experiences of my entire life. And if I look back to, you know, who I was prior to weight training and who I am now, so much of my overall personal development has come from not necessarily directly from strength training, but from that overall confidence, from the ability to take up space and to feel good taking up space and to own that. Because again, when you're continuously pushing yourself to be smaller, it's something where you feel like you can't take up space in conversation and in room and in, you know, asking for what you want in a job or in a relationship conversation or something like that. And when you start to be able to, you know, see your own capabilities within the strength training setting, it becomes so much, I don't want to say easier because those things are never necessarily easy, but it becomes much more doable. uh, Yeah, it becomes much more doable and you can really see, you know, yourself actually achieving these things. You don't see those self-limiting beliefs start to fade away. And again, it's, it's not something that happens overnight. I talk about, you know, it's the road less traveled when you are so used to thinking about something one way in your brain and you're 
pursuing a different path. I mean, look, think of it like you're walking down a road and a path in the forest that's never been traveled down before. You're going to have to push some brush to the side. You might trip over a root. You might stumble along the way. But, you know, when you get to that clearing, when you get to the end of that path, you are going to feel so much more fulfilled and empowered because you took that, you know, less traveled road, if that makes sense. And I think that's a really great, I love that analogy in general. But um, I think being able to look at it through that lens is so, so, so valuable and taking up space owning it and being able to trust yourself. Yeah. And actually, Charlotte had shared a quote, and you can tell me who it was if you know who posted the quote, but I saved it because I loved it. And it was, women need iron, not the vitamin, the barbell. We are trained by the world around us to have fucked up ideas about our bodies. Iron unfucks them. We are taught that the only good direction for the scale to go is down and to agonize ritualistically when it goes up. Iron teaches us the power of gaining weight for strength and gives us another weight to care about the weight that we are lifting. And when Charlotte first posted that, I truthfully got cold chills when I read I have it. Chills right now. I genuinely <laughs> I, have chills. I do too. That's why I mentioned it. I have it again because it was something that when I talk about like fitness saved my life or li lifting saved my life, it wasn't that I was at risk of dying per se. I was at risk of living an extremely unfulfilling life. And by lifting and by building strength and muscle, I that was my vehicle to capability. It was everything in the gym correlated or translated to something else in my life. When I look at when I first started seriously training, not just exercising or being in the gym, when I first started seriously training when I was in college, that's when all of the mindset shifts started to change. That's when all of the growth started to happen in my body and in my mind. And that's when I realized I could do so much more. Because if I can pick up this 50 pound dumbbell and lift it above my head, then why can't I stand up for myself? in this situation? Why can't I interject in this situation? Why don't I have a seat at the table? And I started to break down exactly what you said, those self-limiting beliefs that I was like, oh my gosh, it was like this huge bomb went off and everything that I believed about myself or about my capabilities just was bottomed out. And I had to build up those new beliefs and it was so empowering, so special. And I feel like to this day, it's still something that gives me that strength and gives me that belief. And when I go in and train, yes, it's therapeutic for me just to go in there, put my head down. But even the other day, we filmed a session, and it's probably already live on YouTube, so we'll have it linked below, of a train with me session. And we did it with no music because we didn't want the video to get copyrighted on YouTube. And I'm in there training with absolutely no music, just dead silent and feeling so powerful and just being able to pick it up and put it down and realize if I can keep doing that, if I can keep training my mind, training my body, I can get better. And that's such a cool feeling to have, a cool realization to reach. And it's something that with the rest of this podcast, we want to talk about, you know, why you should do that as well. <laughs> so we will, we got off on a little bit of a tangent, but I think it was a really good tangent to get yes, off on. Absolutely. And I'm so glad you included that quote. It was something that, you know, even you reading that like brings me back to the very first moment I read that. And I was like, wow, like it truly is such a difference maker. And it, like you said, it just changes so many, so many different things and makes you believe so much more about yourself. But anyway, we'll, yeah, we'll <laughs> stop get. our little tangent here. But like I said, I appreciate you sharing yeah. that. I think that a lot of people will get a lot out of that.